it's me, KB, in the evening. It's not daytime anymore. We're starting to get into a routine here of, uh, of when these vlogs really start. <laughs> Ah, anyways, hi everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. Had to check again what day it is because I have no idea. Um, I hope that you all have had a wonderful day, whatever time of day you're watching this. So I hope you're having a good day so far um, or you did have a good day um, or maybe it's morning time and I hope that you have a great day. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. So I will quickly give a little recap of my day um, again. My day was busy, uh, spent most of my morning, actually all of my morning and early afternoon working. Um, like I said in previous vlogs, I'm in a busy season for work. So I am busy working from the second I clock in till the second I clock out. Um, and also making time during my breaks, during my lunch break to uh, edit my vlog to hopefully go up at some point at any time during the afternoon. It kind of just depends on how it goes. Um, but that's what I spend most, if not all, my morning and early afternoon doing. And then today was a little different. I, um, I had to go to the BMV this afternoon, which is always a good time. And long story short, uh, it didn't work out and I need to make an appointment and go back at some point. I'm hoping to get an appointment and go on Friday, but, um, yeah, the uh, the BMV is always a hot mess as it is. And then I uh, haven't had to go to a BMV in the middle of this pandemic yet and needed to go today. And it was just as much of a hot mess as I was expecting. So um, anyways, hopefully I get my BMV stuff sorted on Friday, but stay tuned. Anyways, I got home from the unsuccessful trip to the BMV and crashed on the couch for like a half an hour. I was like, I just need a moment to breathe. So I laid on this couch and stared at the ceiling for about a half an hour. And then I was like, all right, KB, time to get up. Let's get this evening going. Let's get this vlog going. Um, and so here we are. I was debating on what I wanted to do for tonight's vlog. I say tonight's vlog now, it's not even today's vlog, it's tonight's vlog now. Um, I was debating what I wanted to do though because I am streaming tonight. Um, so once I start streaming, that is kind of the rest of my evening. So I was like, all right, what can I, what can I do before I start streaming? And I had the idea, Oh, excuse me. Um, I had mentioned a couple vlogs ago, it was while Trevor was here this past weekend, I said I should do kind of like a an apartment tour, but um, it'll be a wintry, Christmassy apartment tour because all my Christmas decorations are up. Um, and I think that would be really nice because I know you guys have kind of seen bits and parts of my apartment um, throughout these vlogs so far, but I thought it might be fun to kind of go around in a little more detail and show you guys my apartment and show off some of my decorations that I have. Um, I do apologize in advance um, since this was kind of unplanned. My apartment is not clean and sparkly and uh, tidy and organized as I would like it to be. Um, I'm a very clean person. If you know me in real life, you know that I'm I'm very anal about keeping my apartment clean and I've been so freaking busy the past couple weeks that my apartment is just not what I want it to be right now. It's kind of driving me nuts. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to give a little apartment tour here, um, show you guys around, show you some of my decorations and I hope that you enjoy. <laughs> I apologize, that was my oven beeping in the background. Um, I am also going to get dinner going real quick before we start this apartment tour um, because I need to eat before I stream. On tonight's menu, I am having a spicy chicken veggie patty. Um, I'm gonna cook it and then kind of split it up and make a wrap out of it. Um, and then some seasoned waffle cut fries. So I'm, I'm getting ready to pop that in the oven and that's what's going to be for dinner tonight. Ooh. Yikes.
Oh, everything's sliding. Away you go. Have fun in there. So while I'm already in the kitchen, let's start in the kitchen. Starting here, I've got my fridge. Um, I've got my crock pot that has that leftover mulled wine in there that I should probably heat up and drink at some point. Um, back here, you will see that I have a nutcracker. Um, I'm gonna get into my nutcracker story here in a little bit, but I've got a nutcracker here and I've got a nutcracker hiding over here as well. Um, and then going along with that, I've got um, a Christmassy candy bowl full of all sorts of candies. I've got Christmas M&Ms, um, which are also over here. I'm sure you've seen. Um, I've got some Christmas M&Ms in my glass Christmas tree there. But anyways, um, got some candies in here. Honestly, I've got some leftover Halloween candy chilling in there. So um, should probably do something about that. I've got those... Um, dark chocolate and mint Kit Kats that I've been raving about on my Instagram stories. <laughs> um, I've got those in there that I've been very much enjoying. Um, and then I got those green lights that I showed off. Um, I've just got those up around my cabinets. Um, they don't really do much when the lights are on in the kitchen here, which honestly the lights are on in the kitchen most of the time. Um, but it does look very pretty when I do turn the lights off. So they're just on and up there just for fun. Um, let's see. Over here, I've got a little stocking hanging off um, this closet here. That just is where like my furnace and my trash can and all of that fun stuff is. Um, over here, I've got a all you need is love and coffee thing. Um, I've got a calendar here. I just realized that it's still November, so I need to get that changed out. <laughs> Oops. Um, I've got my trusty Keurig here. Um, the love of my life. Sorry, Trevor. Um, <laughs> I've got some other things such as some honey, um, some stevia, um, some respawn by razor, which by the way, I'm partnered with them. If you want to get a discount when you buy some respawn by a razor, chat me up and I'll get that discount for you. Um, got my coffee thing here where I keep all my K cups. Um, I do have some things on here, um, like some chai lattes. I've got some hot chocolates, some teas, um, some different things type of coffees, green tea, another hot chocolate. Um, but honestly, mostly it's just coffee that I keep on here. Um, but every now and then I'll buy like a little something different. Like maybe in the fall, I'll get some like apple ciders or something, but that's where I keep all my K cups. Um, I've got my Bath and Body Works soap out here that I did in my haul vlog the other night. Um, and then coming up here, um, I've got here a little Christmas candle. I've got my tree, which you see in most of my vlogs because um, around the corner here, and I've got my Santa with my candy canes, um, but around the corner here is where I keep my little countdown to Christmas, which I include in my vlogs every day. Um, so I've got that and I actually need to turn. Oh no, I dropped the blocks out. Oh crap, I'll get that fixed in a minute. Um, I need to turn my lights on. Ooh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh shoot. Let's get this back up here. Ugh, gosh. God, what was it? 16? <laughs> I think it was on 16. That's really bad. I think it was 16. Uh, 16. Oh my gosh, get in there. Okay, 16. Okay, we're back to normal now. <laughs> um, so I got my little Christmas countdown. I've got some starry lights hanging down here, um, which I think looks really pretty when you're just kind of sitting over here and you see it from a distance. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of something to put there. I don't know. Decorating an apartment can be kind of difficult. Uh, I can't wait to have a house someday. And then I've got my Christmas tree here. This was actually on my desk at work. Um, but I brought it home since I work from home full-time now. <gasps> Is that a Frodo? <gasps> Frodo! Hi, Frodo! We're giving you an apartment tour. Right, so, um, and I also, <clears throat> I made this ornament at work last year, too. We had a little, like, we had had a Christmas party every year, and, um, they did a little, like, DIY crafts, and last year we made ornaments, so I hung that up here on the corner, um, and then I just got my little candies up here. Like I said, the candy canes, uh, the M&Ms. Oh, that's hot. 
um, some leftover M&Ms from Halloween, um, which are still good. Don't worry, they're still fine. Um, I know earlier in the candle I showed that I had, er, earlier in the candle, oh my gosh, it's gonna be one of those nights. Earlier in the vlog, oh, there he goes. Drinking, drinking while I'm trying to vlog. Anyways, earlier in the vlog, I had a different candle burning, but I thought since it's evening time now that the fireside candle would be really nice. Um, so I've had it burning for, I don't know, 15-ish minutes now and it smells so good. And then coming back over to the kitchen-ish area, this, this area is a mess, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm a little embarrassed to show this off, if I'm being honest. Um, I just, I'm so tired of living in an apartment. I need more room. I have so much stuff. I have so much stuff that I want to, like, decorate a beautiful house with someday. But for the time being, I have this area here in the kitchen. Um, but I've got my microwave up here. I've got some apples. Um, the apples are part of an Elder Scrolls recipe that I'm going to make um, soon. So I haven't gotten rid of any yet or put them elsewhere. <laughs> elsewhere <laughs> sorry that was an ESO joke okay um anyways but so it's just kind of I got like cookbooks I got my instant pot um I normally normally keep my crock pot down there um right now my candles are there um my coffee popcorn popper wine more wine look at that that's cute I uh, got a little doggy cover, uh, wine bottle cover. Um, my skooma is back here, which I might get into this evening for my stream. Um, maybe. We shall see. Um, but anyway, and I got a little coffee maker under there. <laughs> it's just a hot mess over here, and it, honestly, it stresses me out. But um, that's my little kitchen area. Take it or leave it. Oh, and I love this picture here, too. My mom gave that to me, actually. Coming over to the living room area, which um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of in my vlogs. Um, but over here, I've just got some comics sitting on my table. Um, more Nutcrackers. Uh, so I have Clara from the Nutcracker. Um, just some other Christmassy stuff out. This one has a little candle in there that you can, uh, it's a battery operated candle. and. I don't ever really turn it on because my lights in here are usually on, but just some Christmassy stuff there. Got my blankets on the couch. I typically keep blankets on the couch because of Frodo, just to kind of keep my couch in a decent condition, but he loves this Christmas blanket. I pulled it out last Christmas. He would not let me put it away for the spring and summer, so it's just been out year round, and now we're, we're back to Christmas, so it works. <laughs> um... My coffee table here, so I'll be honest, I typically keep my coffee table pretty cleared off because um, for the most part I sit out here and work during the day. So I'll have like my work laptop and a monitor and my mouse and work notes and everything and it typically takes up my whole coffee table. Um, so usually I keep it pretty clear just because I have work stuff on it five days a week um, unless I have company over or I'll put everything away on the weekends and kind of put some stuff out um, on the weekends like when Trevor comes over just to I don't know but typically it's pretty cleared off kind of how you see it um, and then coming over here I've got some work stuff and my work laptop on the table there um, just so it's easy access to pull out for work in the morning um, but I've got another Another nutcracker back here. Now you may, <laughs> you may wonder, well KB, that's kind of janky, the arms off of it. What are you, what's going on here? Um, I, I'll, I'll get my nutcracker story here in just a minute, but um, there's a reason why I have this janky nutcracker sitting there. Um, and then just got some more Christmassy stuff. Um, this is kind of my controller basket where I keep all my controllers. I've got an old iPad back there that I never use anymore. Um, just stuff like that. You have seen my Christmas tree in all its glory. <laughs> I decided to put this little dog on the top. I thought that was a cute little tree topper this year. Um, I really enjoy it. I, um, I have a Frodo ornament on here. 
little Frodo. I need to write his name on there. I need to write Frodo. But that's his little ornament. Um, and then you guys have seen my lights out on my balcony. Um, I did some Halloween lights back in October and definitely wanted to put some lights out for Christmas this year. Um, so I have those out. Um, I almost said Trevor's toys. Oh my gosh. Frodo's toys are his toy baskets down there. So that's where his toys and his bones are. Um, he comes over and gets stuff out and proceeds to leave it all over the floor. <laughs> toy there. There's a toy over there. Um, but that's where I keep his toy basket, at least for now. Um, this chair here, don't mind this folder. I didn't mean to leave that in the chair. Um, this chair here, I moved it over here. You'll see it's really jacked up. It's an old chair. I think this was my mom's, my mother's grand, my mother's father's. So my grandfather, it was somebody in that family's chair. Oh, I should know that. Anyways, um, it's an old chair. I just keep blankets on it. As you see, I've got two blankets there. I've got a blanket back there. Um, I've got a Christmassy blanket here. Um, honestly, this is Frodo's chair. He sits in this chair a lot. Um, he likes to, I get a lot of morning sun that comes in here and he likes to sit in this chair and sunbathe. So I just put his blankets on the chair and he'll, he'll cuddle, cuddle up in that chair. Um, up here I've got, this is just a little cabinet where I keep some glasses and stuff in. Um, up here I've got some lights that I put up for Christmas. I think I might leave them up here around because I really like them up there. Um, I haven't been able to figure out what I wanted to do with that area up there, but now that I put those lights up there, that I kind of need to fix them a little bit. But I kind of like that up there. It just gives it a little, a little something something and some joy. Lord knows we all need some joy in our lives. Down here, I've got um, some blocks that say Noel. I was actually laughing with Trevor um, a couple weeks ago. I was putting all my Christmas decorations out and I couldn't find the L. Ooh, it's actually falling over a little bit. Um, I couldn't find the L, so it just said no. <laughs> Um, which was kind of funny. We, we got a chuckle out of that. Um, this table, so right, I did not initially have this here. This is actually the table that belongs out on the balcony with those two chairs. I brought it in last weekend because I've been struggling with my TV stand or lack thereof. Um, this was an old desk that I got when I lived out in Los Angeles. I got it to use actually as an, as a desk, um, when I first started streaming out there, um, I got it like on the side of a road. It was some weird like thrift store. It was like a Hollywood thrift store. I think it was just like old stuff that they had for movie sets and whatnot. Um, anyways, I got this desk for like $15 or something and I used it as my desk out in Los Angeles for when I was streaming. Um, and now I have a, a newer desk that I use. So I decided to keep this as kind of like a TV stand. Um, but the problem is with the switch is I, I had my switch back here and it wasn't like the signal that I, you would get like using the controllers and stuff. It was really bad. And Trevor was having some issues the last weekend he was here and he was like, you really need like a, it'd be nice if you had like a small table or something down there to put your consoles on, you know, at least until I actually invest in a nice like TV console stand thing. Um, so in the meantime, last weekend, I was like, let's just bring in this table that's out there. I'm obviously not using it because I'm not sitting out on the balcony in 30 degree weather. Um, so I just put it here to put the switch on. Um, but that's just kind of, it was not originally there. It won't stay there. It's just kind of there for now. Um, but anyways, so I got that, um, uh, my TV here, <laughs> got Netflix up. Obviously, I watch a lot of The Office, and that's when, that's back during Halloween when we were watching The uh, the Haunting of Hill House, and then we watched Bly Manor as well. Both excellent shows. Um, but anyways, I've got my TV there. I've got some little pictures up here. Um, I thought those were cute. I found those on Amazon, actually. I don't know. I just thought they were something kind of cool to have above my TV. Um, but anyways, and then I just put some like pine cones, these little wood things that I had, um, just little statues and whatnot. I don't know. I thought it'd be cute along my, my TV stand with some fairy lights just to kind of add 
some festiveness to my TV stand area, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of it for out here. Um, I'm gonna show you my stream room and bedroom real quick. Um, there's not a whole lot going on in those two rooms, but I'll, I'll give you a little sneak peek. So this is my stream room. My setup is god awful. I apologize. This is like a work in progress slash whenever I move someday and get out of an apartment, I want to completely redo everything about my stream setup. I bought this desk and I thought I would like it and honestly I don't. Um, it just doesn't fit with all my stuff and like I, you, I got these two shitty monitors. Um, I'm wanting to get some new monitors here soon. Um, and then I use a TV back here for when I stream console games. And it's just, it's a really, it's a terrible setup. And I'm totally prepared for everyone to be like, oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> but you know what? It works. It's fine. I've got a Christmas tree back here. I got Father Christmas, AKA Santa Claus up there. Um, but I got a little Christmas tree that you guys may see if you watch my streams. That is what's behind me, um, behind me in my chair there. Um, I got my K Beast over here. Um, what else did we got in here? Uh, Frodo's bed. Um, I got my green slash blue screen over here, a bunch of stuff over here, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've got some candles in the windows that I bought that I actually really, really like. Um, growing up, we always had candles in the windows, like during Christmas time, and I loved it. And I was like, I kind of want to get something like that for my apartment this year. So I found these battery operated candles that they have little sensors on the front that you face towards the window. And uh, once it gets dark outside, they automatically come on. Um, they look really pretty from the outside. They look really pretty from the inside. Um, I enjoy having them on at night. Um, I just think they kind of add some warmth to my apartment. But that's my little window area here in my stream room. Okay, going back here to the bathroom. I'm not gonna show much of the bathroom because, well, <laughs> it's a bathroom. <laughs> Coming into my bathroom, I decided to hang up a stocking here. Um, you may wonder like, ooh, KB, what is that? This is actually the backside of a stocking. Um, this is, God, okay, I'm about to, I'm probably gonna get judged hardcore. Um, we made stockings for our dogs <laughs> growing up, and one of my dog's name was Mac, and he died a very long time ago, um, but, I kept his stocking for some weird reason. I don't know, but now that I'm older, I feel really weird about hanging a stocking with my dead dog's name on it. Um, so I've just kinda got it flipped over. <laughs> um, this picture is from South Africa. So South Africa is the only place um, that I have been to that's out of the United States. Um, I'm hoping to change that in the future once COVID is over and done with and we can travel again. Um, but I got this in South Africa and so I framed it and I really like it. It's just kind of in my bathroom here. Uh, shower curtain, toilet. I got some little Christmassy towels sitting here on my toilet. I don't know. You know, it is what it is. And then there's me, hello. And last but not least, the bedroom. So you walk in here, um, here's my bed. Um, which you guys saw a few vlogs ago, I put new bed sheets on. I freaking love these bed sheets. They are so warm and so soft. And I've cursed myself because now it's impossible to get out of bed in the morning. Um, but this is my bed with the bed sheets. Um, above my bed, I have, oh, excuse me. Um, I have a painting here with ballerinas on it. Um, for those who don't know, I am a former ballerina. I did ballet for 16, 17 years of my life. So ballet is a very important thing to me. Um, I love ballet and I just love that picture. So I've got that above my bed. Um, I've got, again, more candles in the window over here, along with a couple snowmen. Um, typically I close my blinds at night, um, but the, the glow of the candles kind of nice. I, I enjoy seeing that. Um, an extremely messy, I'm not going to show that very much. That's where I have my makeup and stuff. <laughs> um, over here is where I keep my humidifier that I just bought and I'm very much enjoying having that in the winter months. And then 
I'm sure some people have seen this in my vlogs and have gone, KB, what the hell is that? So yes, let me tell you about my tree problem that I had. Um, I ordered a beautiful seven foot full tree off of Amazon that I was actually going to put out in my family room. And that tree that's out there was originally in here because that tree's like, I don't know, six, not even six foot, like maybe five and a half, six feet. Um, and I was like, I'll bring that back here. And then I'm going to get a really nice, big, full, like seven foot tree to put in my family room this year. I'm home all the time. I really want to make this a really nice Christmassy apartment. So I ordered this beautiful tree off of Amazon. I spent like $160 on it and I finally get it delivered. It was delayed like two days. I was mad about that because I really wanted to get it here and get it set up and everything. Um, but I finally got it. I was so excited. I opened the box and I see this. That's not seven foot. I'm like five foot two. <laughs> um, I get this little skinny, wimpy, gross looking tree. Um, it, and I'm mad about it and I know I need to return it. Um, I just haven't gotten to that point in my life yet to return it. Um, but that is why this sad looking Christmas tree is in the corner here in my bedroom. Never lit or anything. Um, I had some lights that I was going to put on the tree that was in my, that's in my family room. And it's a lot. It was a big old mess. Um, cause this one's pre-lit. It wasn't supposed to be pre-lit. And so I had these lights I was going to put on it and it just, it was a hot mess. <sighs> Anyways. So that is the story of this sad looking Christmas tree that some of you may have noticed in my vlogs going, well, why is it never lit? And why is it just dark and in the corner in your bedroom? That is why. <laughs> So my nutcracker story may make a little more sense now that I just told you guys that I did ballet for 16, 17 years. Um, so my mom, I started when I was younger, um, back when I did ballet, they had like a, our ballet company had like a little store outside, like in the lobby area of the theater that we did the nutcracker every year in. Um, and they sold nutcrackers. And one year my mom bought a nutcracker and this was when I was really young and it kind of became a tradition to get a nutcracker every year. So my mom would buy a nutcracker from the store in the lobby during nutcracker time. And she would buy one every year that I did the nutcracker. Mind you, that was like 16, 17 years that I did the nutcracker. And obviously I don't do ballet anymore, um, but it kind of became a tradition that when I stopped doing ballet, that I would get my mom a nutcracker every year for Christmas. And our old house, so my parents moved a couple years ago and the house that they're in now, and you guys will see it when I go home. Um, I'm gonna sit down here. You guys will see it when I go home for Christmas this year because that'll be like the last few days of Vlogmas and I'm sure I'll vlog there. Um, and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about, but their new house doesn't have a whole lot of room um, to put nutcrackers up. So they're kind of scattered all over the house. And um, when, but our old house, we had this huge mantle above the Christmas or um, above the fireplace. And every year we put all the nutcrackers up there and it was so pretty. And when I moved out to Los Angeles, I, my parents were like, why don't you take some nutcrackers with you? That way come Christmas time, you can decorate your apartment with the, with the nutcrackers. And I just kind of kept them and I still have those nutcrackers around here. Um, my guess is most of those nutcrackers will eventually come to me, um, many years down the road when that day comes. But, um, that is why I have some nutcrackers around the apartment. Um, is it just kind of became a tradition to get my mother nutcrackers every year and they kind of they've already started spewing over to me um, I've already got my mom her nutcracker for this year <laughs> So um, but this nutcracker I said had a little story to it So if anybody knows the story of the nutcracker ballet 
Um, it kind of revolves around a main little girl. Um, in some stories, her name is Clara. In other stories, her name is Marie. I think it's a regional thing. I think like here in the US, um, she typically goes by Clara. And then I think like in the UK and in different countries, um, she goes by Marie. That Don't quote me on that. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, Clara, Marie, it's the same character. But it revolves around um, this little girl named, we'll just stick with Clara for now. Um, and she um, encounters a magical nutcracker that she gets from her uncle during a Christmas party. Um, and this nutcracker, you know, becomes like a real life person and takes her off to this magical wonderland of sweets and treats and um sugar plum fairies and everything that's where the sugar plum sugar plum that's where the sugar plum fairy comes from um but anyways it's every little girl's dream who does ballet to be clara or marie in the nutcracker because typically it's played by a little girl and so i got the role of clara when i was 10 and I was so excited about it. Like I said, that's like every little girl's dream um, who does ballet. Um, when you're younger and you're auditioning for the Nutcracker every year, that's like your ultimate goal is to get Clara. And I was so excited I got Clara that year. Um, and this was the Nutcracker that I used in the ballet when I was 10 years old um, because Clara like holds her Nutcracker, you know, like a doll and everything before it becomes like a prince. Um, and so they let me keep my nutcracker that I used. Um, that is why it's a little old, the arm fell off, but I can't get rid of it. Um, that is my, that is KB's Clara nutcracker from when I was 10 years old. Um, and played Clara in the Nutcracker. So that's the story of that. But um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little um, apartment tour, a little Christmassy, wintry apartment tour, um, just to give you guys a little insight into my life here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah. Hi, hello. Um, real quick before I start my stream, I'm already on the starting soon screen. So I'll be switching over here in just a minute. Um, but wanted to let you guys know um, what's going to go on during tonight's stream. Um, so it, tonight is a normal stream. We are playing Elder Scrolls Online again. Um, however, since we reached, so I have some different milestone goals um, for my $500 charity stream for the Licking County Humane Society, which I talked about in yesterday's stream, or oh God, stream video. I talked about in yesterday's video. Um, and for reaching $100, I said that I would eat some yucky food on stream. Um, I, there's not a whole lot out there that I don't like, but I did pick some foods from the store that I know I don't like, and I'm going to eat them on stream tonight. Um, I will post some clips after this here, because I'm sure there's going to be clips of me eating this food and it's going to be horrible. I got cottage cheese, Brussels sprouts, and sardines. And I know some of you may be watching this and go, oh, I like, I like some of those foods. Well, I don't. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to do everything I can to eat these foods on stream and not vomit. But wanted to let you know before I start the stream that I am doing that tonight. Um, so I hope that you enjoy the clips that you will see after this here um, of me consuming those foods. Enjoy. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. All 
All right, guys, I'm in bed. I am exhausted. Do you hear the train? I don't know if my, I don't know if this is picking up the train outside. Choo choo. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, stream was crazy tonight with all that nasty food I ate. <laughs> I'm sorry if you enjoy Brussels sprouts or cottage cheese or sardines, but I did not. <laughs> I Honestly, I bet, because I like vegetables, I bet if I cooked up the Brussels sprouts differently, like, in, like the right way, instead of just like microwaving them in the bag, I might enjoy them. I'd say out of the three, I enjoyed the Brussels sprouts the most, but that's, they still weren't great. Um, the sardines were awful. The rest of them are in my trash can right now, and I will probably need to take that trash out tomorrow because it's probably going to start stinking. Um, but anyways, my hair is driving me nuts right now. Um, but anyways, so, but I'm in bed and I'm exhausted. Um, what a great stream. We unlocked another milestone goal tonight. Um, so we got to $300 now, which is incredible. And, um, we will be doing a Twitch Sings stream at some point on stream. I think I'm going to do it next week. Um, so, cause we'll do, we'll do the $200 donation, um, incentive this weekend with Trevor doing my makeup, um, which I'm going to do, um, during my vlog. And then we'll do the Twitch Sings next week. But anyways, I'm like, I feel like I'm like half asleep talking right now. So I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 9. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day um, whenever you're watching this and I really appreciate it. Um, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Good night.